Okay, a very tired shed man coming at you today, but I did want to give you an update because I usually do this on Mondays or Tuesdays. Still working on the scout, but yesterday I had a big windstorm come through here and I had like a swing set over here in this area where I'm working this, working on this set. And I'm sitting here crisscross applesauce working on these brakes and it just picked this swing set thing up. It's not actually a swing set, it's one of the things outdoors got a canopy over top of it. You put a little swing on there and all of it. It just didn't have a swing on it because it's winter time, but it's supposed to be winter time. It just picked it up, turned it upside down, and throwed it down right here behind me. Okay, I'm working right there. And this thing that is laying over here, which was like a canopy. Anyway, I'm okay. I freaked out. Uh and that was a mess. So my wife comes home and she didn't ask if I was okay or anything. She said, looked at it, said, well, you'd probably make a bench out of that, couldn't you? So I did, and it's sitting over there now. But anyway, yeah, I woke up this morning with a, about a half a cheese sandwich stuck about right here and a hangover like you wouldn't believe. And I had to go get a bunch of parts I'd order for this thing, tires, I had to go to the eye doctor, and I had to clean up all this mess around here from the wind damage, and there's other damage and stuff went on. And I had to make a bench, but I got it done. And uh, I've got to the point where I need to put front brakes on, but I've hit the wall. That's all I'm going to do today. I'm still waiting on some other stuff. So I'll give you a little update and uh, we'll go from there. Or we won't go from there. I'm going to go in and watch Rockford Files. Yeah. Okay, I've got uh, new wheel cylinders, brakes, brake lines, and all that stuff put on here. And uh, time to put the tires back on. And I get, wait a minute. We're not going to put that old thing back on there, are we? No, I don't think so. Don't think we're going to put that back on there. No. Oh, oh, what we got here is the D-Stone Extra Traction 715. Serious business, people. That right there is serious business. Ain't no messing around. That's right. Woo, let's see what they look like on there. Yep, this is all I'm going to need right here. These are about 29 inches tall, about eight inches wide. Big, good, deep lugs for digging in. Yeah, we got the tires on there. Still working on the brakes on the other side. Something else I've done. One wire alternator. That's right, one wire, one belt, one alternator. I'm still waiting on a water pump. Waiting, it's a big waiting game. And I'm gonna tell you, I got the brake shoes to put on this side. I got a new wheel cylinder on it. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, Shed Man is wore out. I give up, I'm tired. But I do love them tires. Man, oh man, them suckers are directional. Yeah. Another little thing working on here. Got all the gauges hooked up now and a little two inch tack, ain't it cool? So, uh, man, 